Should you buy a GoPro Hero 4 Black that came out in 2015? Let's find out. The GoPro Hero 4 Black came out in 2015, and that was a long time ago. But does it still hold up to the current action cams? We're going to find out. We're going to test video quality, audio quality, vlogging capabilities, stabilization, and my favorite, cinematic capabilities. This is what we're going to base this test on to see if this camera is still compatible to use in 2019. Now I'm not going to cover specs. There are plenty of videos on YouTube that cover the specs of the GoPro Hero 4 Black. There's no need to cover that now. What we want to find out is if it's still good in today's market. Now, a lot of people say that the GoPro Hero 4 Black was the best GoPro as far as audio quality. So we'll do a test to find that out and see if that's still true. Let's now, take a close up look at the GoPro Hero 4 Black. As you can see, uh, this is your typical standard action cam size and shape and form. A couple of things about the GoPro Hero 4 Black is that it does have Wi-Fi and it is able to connect to a GoPro app which does allow for you to open up more settings. The GoPro Hero 4 Black does not have an external screen which some could say is a bit of a deal breaker because you can't see exactly what you're filming but if you're vlogging with this because it doesn't show to the rest of the people around you what you're actually filming as far as they know you're just holding a stick with a little box on top. Now we're going to record in the studio on the GoPro Hero 4 Black to see how it holds up in low light. Now we're on the GoPro. Now you can see that the field of view is a lot wider. There's no bokeh. That's because this camera is always in focus no matter where. Now let's go outside and see what it looks like in better lighting. Now the lighting outside is cloudy. It's not a sunny day, but you'll kind of get the picture. Let's go ahead and test audio quality. This is the audio test for the GoPro Hero 4 Black. Audio test 123, audio test 321. It is a little windy, I hope this comes out. Now, for all you vloggers out there, the vlogging test. Uh, this is the vlogging test for the GoPro Hero 4 Black. This is an old camera that came out, I believe in 2015. And it's very lightweight. This will be the optimal, for me personally, this will be an optimal uh, vlogging setup. Let's test stabilization. Keep in mind that the GoPro Hero 4 Black does not have any kind of electronic image stabilization or optical image stabilization. There is no stabilization whatsoever, so it may be a little bumpy. All right. Alright, now for my favorite, the cinematic capabilities. Now the GoPro can record in 4K 30 frames per second and 120 frames per second in 1080p. So most of these shots were filmed at 1080p to get that slow-mo effect.
Now for my conclusion. The GoPro Hero 4 Black, I believe, is still relevant and it can be had for a very good price. I only paid $100 for this camera used on eBay and you can find better deals than that all day long. That's just the one that I found about six months ago. Could you make this your primary action camera? Sure. Could you make this your primary action camera? Sure. It's only $100 so if it gets broken, there's no need to sweat. You can just run out, purchase another one, go online, find something used. So do I think that this camera is relevant in 2019? I sure do. I know normally I do my daily brew at the beginning of the video, but we saved it for the end on this video because it's not that special, but it is one of my favorite beers. And the beer that I'm drinking today is the Michelob Ultra Superior Light Beer. Now this is just your typical American light lager. Uh, what is good about this beer though is that it only has 95 calories and you do not get hangovers from this beer so you could drink this all day long hang out all day and not have to worry about anything and it's quite refreshing remember to like and subscribe also check out my other youtube channel hooked on brew which i'll link down below brew out